tu cuello despacito Deja que te diga cosas al oído Para que te acuerdes si no estás conmigo Despacito Joining us now is musicologist Eric Alper in On the Record. And this week, we're talking about the songs of the summer. And I'm already tired of hearing this first one. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you know what that what, what the song means? What it translates to? It's, I'm sick of touring, oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to cancel, oh. My remaining 14 days, oh. <laughs> Okay, Good so, bio. So, so what O is the real story behind that cancellation by well, Justin Bieber? Well, there's, there's a number of them. I, I don't, I wouldn't put it past anybody that has been on the road for 18 months that they're just done. Oh, and yeah, I absolutely. think with the recent um, suicide of Chester Bennington, I think it must have weighed a little bit on his mind that touring is a grind. You mm-hmm. know, you go out for the money. He's got more than enough, than enough money. Um, also, there, there are still tickets available for the last 14 shows, which... Even in Toronto? Even in Toronto. Oh, my. So, realistically, according to Billboard magazine... It now would be a good time to cancel if you wanted to cancel. It would be okay. He can come back. Um, there's no problem with it whatsoever. Mm, okay, so tell us about Despacito. So this song is now number one for the 11th Street Week in America. It is one of only 29 songs in music history to be number one for 11 straight weeks. And it's only four weeks away from the longest running number one song in music history. Um, so... This song isn't just the song of the summer. It's probably and likely to be the biggest song of the year so far. Okay, but you have to tell us what the longest running one was, because now I can hear everybody going, so what was that one? Uh, I'm going to, oh, oh, the uh, Boys to Men and Mariah Carey song. Um, what's that song? I'll be there for you. I'll, I'll oh, be missing you. I'll really? be kissing you. Really? Um, huh. this, uh, I'll be missing you, oh. <laughs> uh, some, some, yeah, yeah, but but it but it's them. So and and they had sixteen weeks at number one. Okay. So there's this guy named Justin Bieber uh, again, who it's kind of new. Not a lot of people have heard about him, even though that he's had now his fourth number one song with I'm the one, and that's Justin Bieber and DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled, of course, got uh, he's been around for a long time um, in the hip hop in the pop scene, but it wasn't. It, it he really started to bloom for Khaled after all these years after being on Snapchat of all places and this song um, is a monster hit in the U.S. and Canada. It's one of the most streamed songs around the world and is currently the second biggest song of the summer. I think his baby did it for him. The baby on oh, <laughs> Instagram. Yeah. He has right. the coolest baby ever. Right, and then like at three o'clock in the morning, he would just tweet these. Um, wisdom, these quotes of wisdom, <laughs> like, you know, praise the God, but then he would hold up like a bucket of chicken, yes. you know, and, uh, <laughs> you know, who knows what 13 year olds would be liking at these days. But yeah, they're DJ Khaled. Go follow him on Snapchat. <laughs> I want something just like this. So that is and are the Chainsmokers. Um, the Chainsmokers have had a year probably like no other duo in history, and that includes the Righteous Brothers, that includes Hall & Oates. They have remained on the Billboard Top 10 for over 61 weeks consecutively with various songs. The leader of that record is held by Katy Perry, who was in the top 10 with various songs at one time for 69 weeks. I actually went to go see them against my against my will um, earlier this summer. I didn't think they would be that good. They were probably the, my top five shows of all time. Eric, you do realize that they are in the top 10 because Christine Bentley's son, DJ Swivel, produced them. That's right. Yes. That's yeah. right. So, so, um, you're probably so, very lucky she's not here today. Right, right. <laughs> And Christine, we, we we owe you two cents now for, for playing that song. So that the Chainsmokers pick a song, any song that they've released this year, it's currently in the top five. I'm in love with the shape of you. We push and pull like a magnet do. I love Justin that Bieber. Song. I love it. No, it's not Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> that that Ed Sheeran. Yeah, it's a cool song, Shape of You, of course. And if you think that you've heard it everywhere and forever, you're not alone. Not only did it come in straight at number one on the Billboard Hot 100, it was only one of 30 songs in music history to achieve that chart. It's remained on the top five for the last 20 weeks, breaking his own record um, and uh, it's been 26 weeks now since that song has been in the top five. So it's currently the number four biggest song 
in the summer of 2017. And that's my vote. And his Game of Thrones appearance, notwithstanding, I still love it, Sharon. Because he should not. Yeah, see, I don't watch that show. Was it a big deal? Like, could you tell it was him? Oh, Oh, totally. It was (laughs) with Sharon. I, I, I don't. Okay, so Game of Thrones is. I've never even seen a second of it. So what is it? I know she's like, she's like, who are you? you? I know, I know. How can you have a heart beating? My kids finally convinced me to binge watch it. I did, and I am hooked. And I was like, right up to the. So what is it? Is it knights? Is it is it demons? It's set in a different world. It's dragons. It's knights. It's demons. It's all of the above. So is he like the only redheaded dragon? Mm -hmm. Like, does he play a dragon? No, he's a he's a wandering a wandering minstrel. (laughs) Really? Wow. There's a stretch. He's Ed in the middle of a forest. Really? Really? What's he doing there? Yeah. Tall trees, and all of a sudden, you see this guy singing Shape of You. Does he sing? Oh, yeah. Eric, we got to go. Watch the show. Uh, We will chat with you next week. Eric Alper is brought to you by Roar Records. Download the new single Rise by Elise Saunders on iTunes and Spotify now. It's based on the heroic story of Olympian and Pan Am medalist Jessica Phoenix. 